This is an exercise that I like to do for improving shoulder flexion. If you've had a shoulder surgery or adhesive capsulitis or frozen shoulder, this is a great way to improve your flexibility in a nice safe position for your shoulder joint. Uh, you're gonna clasp your hands together, so interlocking your fingers, uh, and then you're gonna reach up over your head and try to touch your arms to the ground or to your bed alongside your head. And if you can do that, you have full range of motion. What's interesting for me is I feel like on my right shoulder feels a little bit tighter than my left. So I'll feel a little bit of pressure on that right shoulder when I bring it over my head. And you may have one side, one shoulder joint that's more painful than another. So I really want you to think about that when you're doing the exercise and you should go actually kind of slow. So I'll show you sort of a real time uh, speed that you should do the exercise. You know, clasp your hands together, interlocking your fingers. You're gonna raise your arms up. And as soon as I start to feel a little tension in that right shoulder joint, I'm gonna stop and bring the arms back down to my stomach. Take a little break, let my arms relax, and then I'm gonna reach up again. This time trying to go a little bit further, but of course, not trying to push into any sort of painful range of motion. And then I'm gonna bring them back down and I'm gonna relax. And then we're gonna bring them right back up again stretching up overhead. And there I'm feeling quite a bit of pressure. And if it starts to increase, I'm actually gonna stop a little bit early and bring it back down. I would recommend doing somewhere between five and 10 repetitions, nice and slow, and try to increase that range of motion each time you do the exercise. If you have any questions, comment below. Thanks for watching.